Grade 4 math number 36. Divide 10, 100, and thousands. Take a look at this one. If we need to blow up 120 balloons for a New Year's Eve party, and if we have six people to help blow up the balloons, how many balloons will each person blow up? We've got 120 balloons and six people. Well, what we do is we say 120 divided by 6. Or how many times can 6 go into 120? We take the 0 off. We ignore the 0 and say 12 divided by 6, which is 2, and then we add the 0 after. See? We do 12 divided by the 6 and add the 0 at the end. It's easier to say 12 divided by 6 is 2. 6 goes into 12 two times. 6 times 2 is 12. We do our subtraction and we get 0. It's this 0's turn to come down, but it can't fit into 0, can it? 6 can't fit into 0, so we just put a 0 up there. See? All right, let's try this one. I bet you can do this one. 1,600 divided by 4 becomes 16 divided by 4. 4 times 4 is 16, so 16 divided by 4 is 4. And then we add the two zeros after. See? You could almost do that mental math, couldn't you? How about this one? 28,000 divided by 7 becomes 28 divided by 7, which is 4, and then we add the three zeros after. Okay? One last one. We have 400 divided by 8. So we do 40 divided by 8, and 8 times 5 is 40. So 40 divided by 8 becomes 5, and then we add the 0 after. So the answer is 50. Add the 0 after. You divide and add the zeros after. That's if it ends with zeros, okay? You can't do that if it ends with other numbers. It's only when you're dividing by 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. As long as there's zeros there, you can do it this way and add the zeros after. Okay? Wasn't that easy? I thought you'd think so. We'll keep talking about division. Stick with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.